Thanks to our sponsor, NordVPN, and they just happen to be the best VPN at securing your personal data and your internet activity because all of your data stays behind a wall of next-generation encryption that makes my head hurt when I try to understand it. And thanks to NordVPN, I don't have to. And they're not only the best at what they do, but it has been confirmed by speed tests that NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. And you can use NordVPN on six devices on every major platform, Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Linux. Even your Android TV supports NordVPN. Are you a gamer? Then you can avoid DDoS attacks that significantly slow down your connection and block malware-ridden websites. And with over 5,500 servers in 59 countries, you can find a server near you for better speed or halfway around the world for more content. And NordVPN has a major upgrade with threat protection, the next step in protecting you and offering a safer and smoother online experience. So do yourself a favor, go to nordvpn.com slash Neebs to get a two-year plan plan with a huge discount plus four months for free and it's risk-free with nord's 30-day money-back guarantee so go to nordvpn.com slash neebs to get a two-year plan with a huge discount plus four months for free live from the bathroom it's neebs gaming we're all in here with absur right now absur hurry up going to you absur yeah we're not we're not. We decided to start this the podcast right I was, as, what? I was, I was being abstro oh. in the bathroom. Oh, that's right. You're <laughs> abstro. <laughs> oh. You, you say, hurry up and pee. Hurry up and pee, abstro. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Why is he, you can't understand when he's peeing. Right. That's that's how he talks. Yeah. It is. Updates? You want to give an update? Uh, Well, we're going to talk about Grounded today. Uh-huh. Yeah. We just finished Generation Zero. Yeah. At the time of recording this, I guess the uh, yeah the last episode comes out this weekend, but not you guys have probably seen yeah, it. Yeah, last weekend. Last weekend. Exactly. Right when this comes out. Yeah. And yeah. Grounded. We're looking forward to playing that. Absurd's back. Hey, from heck yeah, we are. All right. How'd that go? Mm-hmm. It was wonderful. It was a nice, a nice urination. Good. It sounded healthy. It, it sounds like your urethra was wide open. Yep. It's working very properly. Uh, my urine is crystal clear. It sounded like you were standing mm-hmm. on a ladder while you're peeing. A lot of force. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I get what you're Some doing. Good gravity there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's nice to pee hard. Yeah. Thick's not here. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. But but he's he's recovering. Still recovering. Going to be for a while, right? Yeah, probably. He <laughs> warned us before he left. He said this might take a while. We saw him for dinner last Thursday. Came out to dinner with us, and that yeah. was nice to see him. Mm-hmm. It was. He's uh, for what he's going through. He's, he seemed in pretty damn good spirits. But yeah, it's like this surgery has really um, affected his mobility mm-hmm. more than he thought it would. So yeah, and it's it's probably with the swelling and everything. It's just going to take a little time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Heard he had three hours of was that today? Three yeah, hours three of PT. Three hours of uh, PT personal physical training? training or mm. physical training. Sorry, not personal. Personal physical training. Personal fi- PPT. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah. We appreciate all the support. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, especially we did a stream on his birthday, raised a ton of money to help him with all the bills and traveling. Yeah, we didn't even touch on that last time. And it was pretty unbelievable. And I don't even know how many people since then, too. You know, because... It doesn't stop, does it? Yeah, because they're watching the stream. Like, well, that night was live. Yeah. And, you know, since then, over 100,000 people have, I think, watched it. Or at least clicked on it. So they, they, they knew where to go, so... Sure. Yeah, it's amazing. But, yeah... Thick's, Thick's in there recovering. It was great having dinner with him. We had some good laughs. And he's coming to dinner with us tonight. Oh, good. Yay. Oh, oh good. There you go. Sweet. No, he must be doing, yeah, he's doing all right. Three hours of per, uh, physical training. Yep. And he still wants to do dinner with us. I'm happy. I good. know. It's a lot of energy eating dinner with us. I mean, mm-hmm. can I guess where you guys are going to dinner? I don't know if we're going near him or Sawmill. Mm, I see. Someplace different because I Let's don't hope want Sawmill. If we got time, yeah. Let me tell you something. What? We ate at Bonefish Grill. <laughs> yeah. What? Why is that funny? I, because we're going into food talk. I like food talk. Okay. <laughs> I'm my favorite talk. <laughs> right. Okay. So, listen. So, oh, last know. Tuesday, Astro was like, uh, Aztecia, I'm going to take you out to dinner because I said I would. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I think you owed her money or something. Yeah. And I promise we'll <laughs> no, talk it about it. No, it's her last week here. I was like, yeah, I want to, you know, she's been hanging out with us. I wanted yeah. to treat her. I wanted to treat her to a nice meal. Oh, that's sweet. And all she got was soup. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We'll talk about grounded soon. Are you kidding me? From Bonefish Soup? She chose Bonefish. She's like, yeah, Let's Bonefish. Go. Bonefish. It's like a great idea. We she go there. Soup. All she gets is this soup. Is Im- this is important. What kind of soup? 
corn uh corn lump lump crab, crab. chowder, chowder not and impressed. I'm sure. Not impressed. I'm sure it was pretty good. It was a decent soup. But it was damn, mostly corn liquid. The only thing that you got was that. I know. Like, I, to- I told gonna, you to get whatever the hell she wants. Yeah, I'm gonna go to uh, an soup. oyster place and get a Miller Lite. My point, though, <laughs> and a that's cracker. It. That's <laughs> it. You gotta have a cracker back there. My point, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not as good as sawmill. Not really. What wasn't bonefish? Well, what'd you get? I got salmon, potatoes, and uh, green beans, which was the vegetable. See, my they, shrimp was and pretty I had the damn soup good. Too. My shrimp was bang, better bang, than sawmill You got shrimp. the bang bang. Well, we got the bang bang appetizer, but uh, with my meal, I got shrimp, and that shrimp was really good. Yeah, of course, a, it's going to be nice better. flavor. Sawmill salmon is good. Sawmill does have a good damn it, salmon, though. I'm with, I'm, with okay. it. I'm with Neebs on that. I okay. like the sawmill salmon. It was okay. I got it last time. It was somewhat acceptable. All right, can we move on to Grounded? <laughs> yes, Grounded. Grounded. Coming soon For on the For those of you who don't know what Grounded is, it's they a, do. It's a sur- some don't. Right. It's a survival game where you're like, Tony, I shrunk the kids. Your little little people in the backyard run around, yeah. and mm-hmm. spiders and bees. Right. There's a crow. That thing looks freaky. I didn't see the crow. Like you're a little tiny thing. You're looking up, oh, up sh- in the sky, and this giant crow is like always... Oh, yeah. Well, Flying we around. played a little bit on the stream one night, uh, and I remember there was also the uh, the koi fish. There's a koi pond in the game. Oh, yeah. I remember that, roughly. And this giant koi fish. It's like the are megalodon. Terrifying, because you're so tiny. Yeah. yeah. And koi are usually so sweet. <laughs> Not when you're a bug. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, that just... I love, I love the setting in the game. Yeah, that Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I think we're going to turn... We'll probably have to turn audio off because I think those They're kids, chatty. they talk all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Those you that. eat like a mushroom. It's like, I don't yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a lot of talking for a multiplayer game. It's it's one of those design decisions. I'm like, what are you thinking? Yeah. We talk enough as it is. Exactly. Hey, but, well, I mean, you could shut it off just as easily. I right? mean, the game is designed to be so. played on headsets with people. Why do you want this constant babbling going if on? If you played single player, I totally get it. Yeah. That makes sense. You'll kind of feel like you're not alone, obviously, you know? Mm hmm. Wait, do you play it with the other when you're single? No, it's just you, isn't it, if it's single player? Just you. They don't have them running around like AI like, yeah, or anything. No, yeah, they're not bots or anything. Gotcha. I think there's things you can run into. I think there is a robot in the game. What? Yeah. Spoilers. It'll be robot. like a traitor or something. You guys already beat it, didn't a you? A traitor? <laughs> you know, like you Seven it? Days has a traitor? Yeah, I do. I'm but just I saying mean, a, in that an world. AI character that you might interact with. Well, do you know anything about, like, the story? Because there's, like, lab- there's, like you know, with the Honey I Shrunk the Kids, obviously, oops, that was a mistake. It's got to be the same thing, right? No. Well, this no, one, there's a lot think. of kids missing, it yeah. sounds like. And well, there's, like, I don't know, laboratory? Or when like the game, a- yeah, when the game opens, there's a briefcase that's dropped that contains the kids. Briefcase is open, but it looks like it was a briefcase with four slots for the kids. So who the hell shrunk these kids and was carrying them around in a briefcase? And then dropped it. Suited for them. Yeah. Right. Like, honey, where's my briefcase that holds the small kids? Exactly. Like, what's, this what's is going, going on here? Like, there's, there's more to this story than, right. than meets the eye. Right. Mm. And where's the regular briefcase and what does that hold? Like sandwiches? Like a cooler? Maybe. We might find a giant sandwich. Thank you to our sponsor, Shady Rays, and I have just become a big fan. These polarized lenses are a game changer. My whole life, I've hardly ever put on sunglasses. I did a lot of squinting, and I now literally wear my sunglasses every day. Shady Rays sunglasses offer an industry-best combination of fit, style, and performance without the big brand price tag. And it doesn't stop at the quality. Shady Rays offers the most insane protection program in eyewear history. And every pair is backed by lost and broken replacements. Which means if you lose or break your pair, even on day one, they will send you a brand new pair. Like I said, insane. And if you don't love them, then exchange them for a new pair or return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop with Shady Rays. And on top of that, with your purchase, you can feel good about making an impact because Shady Rays will provide 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order and have donated over 20 million meals to date. And Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season to our community. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code NEEBSCAST for 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 200,000 people. Thank you, Shady Rays. Today, the recording day of this podcast. Huh? 
World National Sandwich Day. World, international. It's world. The whole it's, world well, is world. observing well, this sandwich day. I don't know. I thought, as Techie said, it was national or international. National. So it's, it's national, national, so it's not world. Well, Only in this country. Yeah. Heathens. Which, by the way, all the bullshit the freaking days. days. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's there was a, hand. there's at least another three sandwich related days in the last six weeks. Like, there's now probably there's, a Cuban specific day. Exactly. You know, we love Rubens Tuesday. Ruben Day. Yay. It's only three times a year. There's going to be war started over this sometime. Why, like, about, at some why? point, Sandwich Day is over. Conflicts with, with underwear day. Potato or, dumpling day. And what, what happens? <laughs> Fight. Just all fight. out war. Yep, bring the tanks. Yep. <laughs> Sandwiches up, of the world. I looked up sandwich hats today. You, yeah, did. you did. Yeah, Simon is he's picky when it comes to hats. Mm-hmm. Especially sandwich hats. <laughs> they were all good. He didn't like, like any of them. What made you think hat? I, I was thinking of you. I of thought me. I have a friend who loves sandwiches. He'd probably love to have a sandwich hat. Right. And that guy in that picture, I'm gonna try to find Cause what what was the hat? Was that a Philly cheesesteak hat? Yeah, first one was a cheesesteak. It looked it was a yeah. weird hat. Yeah, I like the, oh yeah the kind of the what do you call like the paper boy hat? There was one kind of like that. Yeah, and that was like a cheeseburger or something. Yeah, hmm. I didn't see any hot dogs on sandwich hat search. Did you search hot dog hat? No, oh, well, I, bet, I bet that would have resulted in a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hot dog hats specifically. Yeah, you know they're out there. Yeah, yeah. it's funny they didn't put it in sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Uh, someone else was saying like, "Oh, here's another one. Like, well, is a hot dog a sausage? Is a hot dog a sausage? I don't. What? It is. Yeah. It's right? blended. It's a case stuff. stuff with meat. A you know? cased blending of stuff. It's made in a similar way of, of a sausage. Sure. So, yeah. I think sausage. I, I'm thinking that spicy kind of kick that sausage has, though. My so, dog doesn't have that spice. No, it doesn't. It's much coarser. Sausage is ground in a much coarse way where hot dogs are like, See, you know, super fine. We got a meat place right beside our office. We need to go in there and ask that guy. They don't, oh, they don't they, know. That's, they don't, they don't know. know. No, they sell made, meat out of a they're fucking not a butcher shop. Truck. Yeah, no, 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 no. Right, well, let's find a butcher shop. They're bringing frozen meat in from China. But they, they're in the meat business. <laughs> They're in the meat business. They but might they know. don't know. <laughs> they might. You're asking the wrong people. Yeah, you really right. don't. Well, then let's find a butcher. That's like asking a bartender, you know, how, how do you guys make this Miller Lite? How do you? I, I keep bringing up Miller Lite. Okay, but, you know, I like, see the you know, analogy. Yeah. And I apologize for my stupidity. It's all right. It's all right. I do love taking a bite and seeing some fennel in a, in a sausage. It just makes me happy. All the good stuff in a sausage. Mm. What's a fennel? Fennel, those little seed things. Very particular taste. Okay. Fennel seeds. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So, uh, do we have any more information on oh. grounded? <laughs> no, we're, not. we're playing it. What we, you know, I mean, I guess we. Yeah, how much have you played it? Because I haven't played it yet, Sounds and like I have to download it, it uh, today. Enough to figure out how the building system works okay. and how to eat and just just the basics. All right. So, what do you think of the building system? I like it. I think it's similar to like Green Hill or something where you pull a, bru- a blueprint out. And then you yep. add stuff to that. Yeah, like the forest. Steals it in. Yeah, forest. Mm-hmm. Which, so. by the way, different game, but it's Ark. I guess it was released uh, some information, some new information. At least I think it was. But one of the things in building an Ark 2 is going to be like that. Oh, uh, really? Where Where'd you read that? Oh. Uh, it's recent. In the last couple of what? days, there I was s- some advertisement. I saw that. And, mm. and they said, like, if you want to put a particular structure down... You're going to be able to like, uh, okay, Aaron, I'm going to plop it here. And then I, I might have assumed it. that then you're going to add to it. But the building system isn't going to go like, oh, well, now you got to snap these walls to this, to this, to this. So very valheim and ranch sim and Yeah, ranch sim ended too, obviously, you guys noticed. Yeah. yeah. Around yeah. Halloween. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right on Halloween. And I asked the guys, you mind if I drop this on Halloween Eve? And it had a spooky ending. So spooky. Yeah, go for it, baby. It was all spoops. Didn't see that coming, did you guys? No, I did not. And then there, were like, uh, there was a bunch of, like, you know, man, it was lazy ending. 
weren't gonna do. We weren't gonna do. <laughs> there was a bunch of them. I saw a few. I mean, but there was also people that appreciated it. No, what like, did they want? What would have been a non-lazy ending? I, I, right. I would love to know. Getting a better horse, like like building like, more things and taking care of more things. Like I know there's more in the game, but we weren't gonna grind it out. Like it just wasn't gonna work that way with us. Mm, um, it sounds lazy. And <laughs> yeah, I took the lazy way up. Um, I don't know. I, you can't make everyone happy, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, definitely. And not. oh, and also the um, some people had a, an inkling that it might have been scripted a bit. You think what? So the last you episode, think? you planned some stuff out for sure. <laughs> you think? <laughs> of course. No. Sometimes when, when Grandpa get... came back as a ghost, that was total improv. The whole the whole thing. Right. <laughs> when he talked, it was naturally going into flashback footage. Um, <laughs> but like, in all fairness, that was the only thing scripted was his monologue, because I I gave that to Thick before he headed up for surgery, and. Um, Cut that together so I could start putting together the flashback pieces. But everything we recorded, was yeah, scripted. I was guiding it. Of like, course, even planted the But we the were signs. improving yeah. all the dialogue. Like yeah. everybody, calm, you guys calm down. Let us have some fun here. We have some fun <laughs> at, what at we're some doing. point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh. <laughs> Could we just have fun one time, yeah. guys? <laughs> For once. <laughs> we work so hard. I feel like we deserve it. I mean, when you get to do a series... Dora, hmm. I like the, you. You go down that weird thing. Like, what, what, what was your uh, the caveman? Is he a caveman? It's a car. car. It's a car. A little bit of pepper, some asparagus, more pepper, asparagus, more asparagus, and more asparagus. What now? Right. Little the car. Like, yeah, he's yeah. weird. They're all weird. Wonderful. I get it. I didn't know where to go with Ranch, and Apso brought that weird fucker in there as a character, you know? Yeah. And just rolled with that, of course. Dora's videos are like a, a Nicolas Cage movie. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take that. That's good. You don't know. It's going to be a little darker. <laughs> you, you don't know what's going to happen. No. A little darker. You don't even know. Chances yeah. are, if you're fucked up when you watch it, you probably think it's cool. One thing not in, bro, like, um, Apso's character being a... Having made love to a meatball, and then there's a baby meatball. Oh, don't spoil anything. That just happened. <laughs> don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have Anthony Photoshop that at all for me. That was creepy. Mm -hmm. And I paused it because I wanted to look at it for longer. That <laughs> 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 a, a few people did. That's such a dumb series. I loved it. So yeah, yeah. I'll probably go into some. Um, couple one-offs and figure out what's next of course man well we i wish we knew people enough aztecia do we do we have any sort of pull at all so we can get among us vr like early early not not from them i bet yeah just give, just give the old among us people a call oh, yeah there you go Thank who you. knows Appreciate stranger it. things have happened right <laughs> yeah but, uh but i think that'd be a lot of fun and you've edited did you edit any of those i know i did I a didn't. couple uh-uh Okay. But dealing with the VR aspect would be a different thing anyway. And I doubt we would be doing the animated oh, yeah, for no. things. Yeah, you don't need to. Because, we don't need uh, to. It'll be when right there. around the table, yeah, you can look at each other now, yeah. like physically. That'll be exactly. cool. Exactly. That'll be really cool. I mean, I assume. Dora, you weren't here for the Lunch Lady stream, were you? No. Nope. Oh, uh, and that was, uh, yeah, me, Simon, and Abstro. Yeah, that was our spooky stream last week. That game is pretty freaky. <laughs> Holy shit, uh, you know, man. That's oh, I remember player. hearing yeah. about it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he, apps are screaming. Did you? I got a really good scare. Oh, are you running? Oh, boy. I don't know how you do it. Ah! <laughs> that, was, uh, that was the most realistic <laughs> scream I'd Fuck. ever heard from you. Fuck. And the reaction. <laughs> the jump back that you had. I wish there was a camera to catch Fuck. that. Did you have the headphones on? Uh, no, but we had the speakers uh, in the stream room pretty turned loud. up pretty loud. Uh, what, but it was just the visual of it. What made you scream? What? The lunch lady? Yeah, but I was what? I was being chased by her, and then I turned around to look at her, and it just immediately face. Because she gets you. Yeah. Face and it's scream. It's in your face. And like, it's oh, quick. God. And she is nasty. And then yeah. she does... Bonk. She hits and then she does bonk. something that's unscary right after <laughs> where she swings her weird looking arm and it's like she hit you with like a, a frying pan. Pan, pan from like 1932. Mm -hmm. Bonk. Bonk. But it's multiplayer. If you are going to do a, a one off or two, maybe you that one. I mean, you would, you tell me. I think you'd be, yeah. I think we should that. all jump into that at least once. So you, okay. Because we, we, we played single player on the stream. Yeah. Right. And even single yeah. player was engaging. If there were four of us running around, because all, all you have to do is collect 10 notes 
in the school and, and then some get keys? out. Keys? Huh? Well, yeah, there's keys, too, to open certain doors that you okay. need to find. Gotcha. But, yeah, everyone can kind of separate and split up. And um, when you die, if you have a, a med kit on you, you can respawn. Okay. So it's not insta-kill, but the, there's only so many med packs spread out in the world. Right. So we never got out of the school. So yeah. I did pretty good. I got like seven or eight. You got a lot. Is it notes? just is it just a matter of getting out? Is that the yeah, goal? Yeah, get the notes and get out. Okay. Oh, That's... so it's like oh, the notes makes me think of uh, Slender Man. Yeah. yeah, a little bit, but it's like you know these are these are test notes for the so, test coming up in so school. He can, so so he can we're cheat. students. You got to sneak into the school and get all the test notes. The randomly the spread test notes, mm -hmm. all individual go from into each other. Class. Sure. <laughs> gotta just, go into English class. You gotta get all the notes. <laughs> you would think in real life you just go, Nope. We're gonna have to study. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see this crazy lady walking around with a mm -hmm. frying pan? Yeah, I would probably study rather than get hit with a frying pan. Now it's after hours you're in, in the school? Yeah. Oh it's dark. So yeah. you're so you're, you're a criminal. Real. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. We're breaking into the school, yeah. stealing notes to help us well, on a good test. For you. But good lunch kids. lady's a murderer. Right. She shouldn't be there that late. Mm -mm. Okay, well, uh, noted. Noted on that. Note that. Hell yeah. It's fun to play those kind of shits. Thanks to our sponsor, True Classic. And guys, let's talk about t-shirts. Finding that perfect fitting shirt can be terrible. Either they're too tight or too big and just plain boxy. Luckily, True Classic wants to make every man look and feel good. True Classic's tees taper off toward the bottom, but they fit tighter around the chest and shoulders. You can throw on that True Classic with confidence. Plus, all their styles are super soft and pocket friendly. So no excuses. Get rid of those ratty t-shirts I know you've been hanging on to for years and get ready to upgrade. And we have a great deal for our community. For a limited time only, get 25% off with the code NEEBS at trueclassic.com. I ordered a True Classic three-pack of shirts, and they fit great, not boxy at all. They washed great, still nice and soft. I'm definitely a fan. Very comfortable. And True Classic is more than just a t-shirt company. They have all the menswear staples you need, from polos and workout shirts with the same great fit to boxer briefs. And for the big and tall boys out there, they have long body options and up to triple XL on their staple colors. So get comfortable, get going, and upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic and get 25% off at trueclassic.com with code NEEBS with free shipping included on purchases over 100 bucks with a 100% risk-free guarantee with a 30-day return policy. True Classic, when you look good, you feel good. I'm talking about Arc 2, I didn't realize the combat system they're going for in that game is more of a Souls-like thing. Like Dark Souls? Yeah. That'd where, be cool, right? Where you're like dodging and timing. Well, you're yeah. going to enjoy fighting more. F I hope so. Because right now it's just click, 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 click. Yeah, click. no, right now it's awful. Melee's not as fun. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, like, Conan has great, great melee. Oh, I do like some Conan melee for sure. Mm hmm. Been watching Glock play that a little bit. <laughs> I watched Glock start his new series, which is called Get Wrecked. Okay. His new Seven Days one. He made as much of the world as um, Wasteland. Oh, God. As he could. So it was about 40% of it. Oh, no. Okay. Where it was loud. I right. don't like the Wasteland. No, no, it's horrible. It's horrible. And he starts in it, and I think he's got it on warrior difficulty. Oh, geez. Okay. And he just kind of want to, wants to stay in the Wasteland. I tell you, the, um, the first episode was really, really entertaining. I think it was about 40, 35, 40 minutes or whatever. Okay. But it was from the time he gets in right there and like decides he's going to... It was just nonstop fucking drama. Like he couldn't catch a break and it was very entertaining. It was really cool. He goes into like this tiny little house, right? Yeah. And because seven days is seven days, you know, he's like just going to clear that for his base for like the night or whatever. Just the basic right off the bat base and looks in the corner and there's, of course, a trap door, little hatch going down and that he hasn't even cleared all that. Like he went down and there was he's got some mod capo mod but there was one point he went down and there's like a big old one of those hardcore doors the like vault, vault doors door. yeah mm -hmm. opens that and then he's like in a room where there's like three other vault doors and oh, another God. another uh pat or a hatch hatch down shit like that so it's like a really big kind of intricate thing and he's and that's the mod through. doing that i think the mod is adding the amount of um zombies because after his second 
altercation with some uh, zombies down there because he brought them up, the first ones that came out. Mm -hmm. He moved into the next section after a while, after he dealt with them because he had to like lure them outside and shit. Like, okay. You know how he, he, he plays. He'll put up his little... Uh, the little... Shit, little hatch? The hatches and use that and stuff. Anyway, the second time when he lured that group outside, there might have been 50 zombies. <laughs> Like, for real. Just under one like, house. Yeah. God. It was insanity. It looked like a horde night. <laughs> and that's just how he started. <laughs> like, he's got nothing. They won. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just you and a club versus yeah, 50 zombies. When you, get, when you get good at that game, and Glock's pretty good by pretty now, I think. Good, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Glock, uh, so we do socks every year. Yeah. We're doing socks this year. Freakers, you can go to our, our website. Yeah. Neesflicks.com yeah, and look at merchandise or uh, whatever. Yeah. The link will be somewhere. Yeah. Right. Uh, Glock's doing socks this year. That's what I saw. Through Freakers. Yeah. Nice. Freakers is a local place here that makes socks. They're great. Mm -hmm. Small company. They were mm -hmm. on, uh, Zach was on Shark Tank. Right. Yeah. Pitching. Yep. They, they didn't get a deal, but. No. Uh, no, he was, he was quite the character. They definitely featured him in the front end. Like, you know, like of all the people pitching and you see him like, wow, he's a wacky guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's What's going to happen he is today? A, he's sure a wacky guy. He's a oh, yeah. No, no, he is. And it was, it was entertaining. He's also in the Netflix documentary, uh, Capital C. That's oh, right. Right. And that's right. about crowdfunding. Yeah. Because he yeah. crowdfunded that business early on. I knew him before. Yeah. Before he started Freakers. But he's on the cover because of how interesting he is. Yeah. He's great. He's a good dude. Anyway, we got socks. Sure. Good, good for him. Good. And I, I saw that uh, Glock reached his goal. Nice. Good. Doing well with him. So that's cool. Yeah, Freaker's a cool little company. You gotta love that homegrown shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back in the day, he was just buying sweaters and cutting the sleeves off and making <laughs> these Freakers out of them. Yeah. But now he's got a, comp he's got a factory near here. Yeah. Outside of Wilmington that makes uh, socks and freakers. Sounds like uh, he shouldn't have been in business in the beginning. You know, taking sweaters. Was he stealing them from people? Hey, he was, was crafty. He paying for them? Probably going to like Goodwill or something. All right. Mm -hmm. No, that's like fine. As long as he's not stealing stuff. them. As long as he wasn't stealing There's them There's a lot of people. abandoned sweaters out there. So oh, yeah, okay. big time. You go to Ross, you can get cheap ass shirts. <laughs> All right. Man, they, this is a problem in the world. There's shirts just piled up in like third world countries. They're just throwing them on the ground. That's right? bullshit. What do you mean? What? You know, like it's not real or... Just, no, no, I mean, that. they shouldn't do that. <laughs> Throw them on the ground? I was saying, that's bullshit. <laughs> Fucking liar. I wasn't saying that. Even well, though it says about the shirt. Like, I love going, like, yeah, in, in town. I go to Ross. I picked up, like, two shirts over there the other day for, like, 12 bucks, and they're both, they both fit me great. Okay. Ross, Marshall, and TJ Maxx. Yeah, you get like, some good damn. surprises there. For uh, sure. Man, I like cost. thrift clothes, thrift store clothes. Oh, yeah, you me Because you, you know how that shirt's going to look washed. Right. Because you know someone's washed and yeah, yeah. wore that, that shirt. It's you true. Telling what they did to it. You go to the store, man, like, no, man, look at this shirt. It looks smooth. There's no wrinkles. You wear it once. You're like, that's it. Yep. That shirt's done. <laughs> that's just a wrinkle Can't put fest. this on my that's, body anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even when you iron it, it doesn't look right. Yeah. Some of those shirts have a lot of stories. It's true. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I have a belt that has someone else's name on it that I got. Uh, I think it's Warren. <laughs> the belt that says Warren. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> That's, That's great. Hysterical. I love that. Remind me, I wear all it next under, week. Under, yeah. under, all of his underoos have some other dude's name written on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> it should be convenient that you just name that pair of underwear. It's yeah. just like, oh, I think well, I'm going to wear, I'm wear Chad today. <laughs> he bought eight from Chad. I, I wonder who Warren was, though. Hey, well, it's, yeah, so do I now. It's a good... <laughs> yeah, I would love yeah. to find Warren. Like, like, was he an old guy? And it was like, ah, oh, we got to... Did you a outgrow the belt? Like, how was his... Yeah, <laughs> did Warren get fat? <laughs> how was his name on it? I assume it was a place that had, like, little uh, little dyes that were they kind right. of stamped, stamped it into it leather. In. So, yeah, so you went and you got Warren. <laughs> yeah. Rock it was yeah. my waist size. It was... I just wanted a brown leather belt. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. It said Warren. So you've worn this... Uh, well, you've worn Warren's belt out. <laughs> uh, right? Not in a while, but I still have it. It's still in decent shape. Okay. And it's got a little bit of, like... Leather work on it, like little cross hatch oh, kind of little fancinesses things going. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think I've bought a new belt in the past 15 years. Man, they last forever. I know. I got, I got a really good belt, and that's the thing is, you know, I don't work anywhere where I have to show my belt. Mm -hmm. And I always, you know, I never tuck in. So yeah. I'm like, I never feel like I need a new belt. And you wear a huge buckle. 
And you just cover it with your T-shirt all the mm-hmm. time. It's a shame. Yeah, I got one of them Texas buckles. Yeah, big old Texas ass buckles. It's got a bottle it's opener on it. It's a serving plate. <laughs> Man, I wish we had big Neves Gaming buckles, like rodeo buckles. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. It's <laughs> so a Neves bad. Gaming buckle. That might be harder to sell than socks. But maybe so. Maybe <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It. It's yeah. a quality that's buckle. Uh, no, that, that's, or, a, that's a more of a niche audience that's going to buy that buckle. You go, Or you go the opposite and go make it like super cheap, but like big and plastic and shiny, like right. gold. You could That that could work too. Mm-hmm. We do have a, a like a welterweight champion belt. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Someone made us a, a yeah, wrestling yeah. belt. Who Our was buddy that? Ray. You remember? Ray, Beautiful. that's right. Ray made yeah. that. Yeah. He had it made and sent to us. It looks great. That's <laughs> mine. It was mine at our for live the show. moment. Yeah. For the moment. Oh, I'm, you won it. Yeah. You're the Mount Your Friends for, champion. For now, until we have another, our live show. So oh, That's right. Yeah, you won that three years ago. I did, just versus Simon and nobody else. So, yeah, I, I <laughs> deserve it, fair and square. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Championship match between two people. That's the first round. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So the, but the most dramatic round of uh, mount your friends you're gonna probably ever see. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe next in front of 500 people. Anyway. Yeah. I can't wait to do that with uh, speedrunners. Yeah. Because with how into speedrunners we get on the stream, <laughs> and doing oh, speedrunners oh, live oh. in front of an audience. Oh is gonna my be god. Yeah, that's gonna if, be something. If, if you don't know, yeah, because we do we stream tonight. If you're watching this, uh, and that's one of the best yep. things we do. Twitch TV. He was gaming. That's it. You mean speedrunners is one of the best? It is. Yeah, that, that was game. a pleasant surprise of a game for sure. Especially mm. when the sh- the screen shrinks, because it gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> so and you intense, can see yeah. less of the board. Yeah. And if you fall out of that area, you explode. Yep, and, and you could be in the lead and just over jump something, and it's and a good it'll thing. Count and you go, you it'll count out. you as out, and you're dead. And it's just mm. speed runners, you little <laughs> shit. That's yep. good stuff, though. How's everyone's Halloween? Did you have a good Halloween? Great. I dressed up. I saw you. Did I y'all? saw you. You had a good man. costume, Neebs. Yeah, yeah, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. You had such a freaking big smile in every picture <laughs> yeah. yeah and i saw several it was just like man you must have really liked that costume it's fun it's the like the t-rex that you put Did on you like kind of do like a little yeah, yeah. i would trot you do a trot Trot like it's riding something you can't help it right <laughs> you, yeah you have to because it did it, it do is. like the motion it a does bit? bounce because yeah. it's got a fan and it fills with air yep and uh i did my research i didn't get some crappy one now mm, what this, was what was your wife um she was a dinosaur handler oh, okay Pretty lazy. Yeah, it's pretty lazy because you yeah. had it under control. She just had like a like a shirt you might wear in the woods and a, and a like a cowboy hat. Oh, yeah. Like she could have been just you guys are, at Walmart. You're still together. Yeah, we're it's, working through it's it. It's not over know. after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we went to a party at our neighbor's house, and uh, a couple fun reactions with it. So this kid, how old is that right there? Where I'm holding That's my hand. That's two. Is that two? Three or four. No, it's yeah. not three or four. Could easily be three or four. That's the, what are you talking the kid about? This that right could here. Be three or four. First of all, you were wrong. Kid is wearing hand. There. Yeah. What's this? Two and a half feet? Maybe. <laughs> like, yeah, it's this. Yeah. See that but that was like five for my daughter. Okay. My daughter's short. All right. right. So there was a kid at the party, it didn't speak. Um <laughs> kept feeding the dinosaur. It was pretty funny. Just because there were snacks and stuff. Right. Walk around the front just throwing stuff in his mouth. <laughs> He needed to eat. <laughs> and he thought he was eating it. Yeah. For real. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm guessing three. Okay. So then, uh, trick or treat. This was, this was pre Halloween. Halloween, you know, it's still daylight. Trick or treaters are coming. I see, you know, a family with their kids and a dog on a leash. And the dog is frozen. Oh, yeah. Frozen staring at me. And I'm like, right. this dog <laughs> thinks this dinosaur is real. <laughs> Emily would have lost her shit. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so what I, do you think? They don't know what a dinosaur is. So what do you think they're even seeing? Because well, they also can't see color. They could just be seeing. Yeah, this big resembles blob. a threat. <laughs> this this yeah. wasn't the only dog gotcha. I saw during during the weekend. Right. Most yeah. dogs were fine. This one took this thing seriously. <laughs> this right. was like, I don't know what that is, <laughs> yeah. and I'm not going to engage. Well, fuck that. So nope. I thought I'll try to look friendlier and maybe you know make it look less real and approach the dog. Nope, he bolted. He didn't get far because of the leash, but about took the lady with him. <laughs> He's like, nope. Oh, that's great. I'm out. And then I had one kid. Uh, they were coming around to our driveway, and as soon as she saw it, just scream and ran away, like just down the block. Yeah. Didn't even wait. There's something, uh, there's something buried in our brains 
that says like, nope, big lizard, get the hell out of here. Yeah. It still exists. Big but floppy there's... cloth teeth, run. <laughs> yeah. That's but there's the... a man riding it. <laughs> that didn't that look good. That could calm me down a little bit. Thank you to our friends at Vincero for sponsoring today's episode. If you aren't familiar with Vincero yet, they make exceptionally crafted and stylish watches at affordable prices. Other premium handcrafted watches don't fit the everyday person's budget. And now you could finally own a high quality and long lasting timepiece without going broke. I know watch people. They're usually fashion savvy and their watches are a must. And the right watch can elevate your look with a twist of a wrist. Made with surgical grade stainless steel, durable silicone, and Italian marble straps. We're talking sleek modern watches made from high quality materials that look awesome and they're affordable. Don't tell the guys, but I got the Rogue in gunmetal red and it's pretty awesome. Door is going to be the most jelly because he's fancy. And even though I think this particular watch is designed beautifully, what I really like about it is I can wear it with a suit at a wedding or jeans and a t-shirt at my desk. So if you're looking for the perfect holiday gift to help elevate your style or someone you love and save 20% off plus free shipping site-wide, then Vincero's for you. And if you're worried someone won't like the gift, whether you need to return it or swap it, there's no problem. Vincero's five-year guarantee and 365-day free return policy has you covered. So don't wait until it's too late. Get 20% off plus free shipping site-wide with our exclusive link at vincerocollective.com slash Neebs. Check them out at v-i-n-c-e-r-o collective.com forward slash Neebs. Look good, feel good, and save big this holiday season with Vincero. Yeah. Uh, Gabs and I won a, uh, we won a contest you guys had a great costume that we didn't enter that's right (laughs) you were wario right i was wario she was waluigi and um what's wario and waluigi they're like like the dark versions of mario and and um okay and luigi uh kind of like they're like the i don't know i don't even know why they exist or i don't know you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I just saw it and we're like, oh, that's like Mario shit. That's what I want. Yeah. So, now, it's a good Mario. Lot. Now, last year you were Steve Irwin. Yeah. And you spoke Australian the entire the whole time. Night. Yeah. Did you do and Wario? No, not all night. It came out It came out at, at times. Because <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to speak English. Like, <laughs> Wario <was> just... <laughs> <laughs> like you ordering drinks every time? Every time. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I did it to a lot of people. There were some people that... Uh, but yeah, um, her take on Waluigi was... Um, <laughs> Like sexier than I expected, right? You know Sexy I mean? Waluigi. Still worked, huh? <laughs> it worked when I saw it with like the short miniskirt. I was like, "Well, <laughs> well, that's I didn't see that coming." Really? Yeah, now I have a Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, I can't play Mario Kart the same ever again. And she talked that way <laughs> a couple times. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was fun. And then yeah, Bobby. Yeah, it sounds all biased because we know the owner, but apparently the bartenders all voted on on their favorites and. <laughs> Yeah, we got like a hundred dollar gift certificate for Score. best couple. Yeah, to where? Look at that. Oh, uh, tavern. Oh, okay. So go get more drunk. Right. I was gonna say if it's bonefish. Might yeah. Oh god. Well, not bonefish is fine. I mean, it, mine it, was good. I'm just remember, saying, sawmills. Yeah, really good too. I told That's you about what happened to Gabs when we went to bonefish. Did you kick her in the face? No, God, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. No, no. But she's clearly accident prone. But like I hate, I was even. Whatever. We were sitting at the bar, the tall stools. Okay. And her stool was a little f- messed up on the top or loose or like um, the seat part was one of the, how it was attached to the, you oh. know, the the legs was. Uh, Is it like a spinny not, one? Not connected. No, nope. it wasn't spinny. Okay. But it was like loose or whatever was holding that there. So she grabbed underneath, you know, to scooch oh. forward. Mm-hmm. And her finger got in there. Oh, and it got smashed. And she sat, you know, oh, like... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. Like she's still oh. dealing with her fingernail growing back. Oh, right, because it worked out, right? It got oh, ripped out completely, yeah. but didn't oh, it? Oh, God. Her fingernail. Like, so you can picture it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course yeah, you like, can. It's yeah. so easy to <laughs> picture it. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's God, what happened. like a little bitch. That's what happened at Boatfish. And of course, we told like the bartender she didn't seem to care very much. Dude, I would <laughs> see... That's that's uh, probably lawyer I, that, up there. That would be... That's a lawyer up situation. That's an easy 
crazy lawsuit against an entity like that. Yeah. Uh, only because it's it's something that is like because I've worked for people in restaurants and you got to make sure that shit. Like I've been the person that's like fixing this stuff. It's yeah. really their responsibility. That, and it's one of those things that's one of the reasons why they have insurance too because shit happens. And that does scream but negligence up, but, oh, because God. people are going to be doing that they, scooch move of course, of course. Yeah. all the time. Of course. You're asking for it. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. It made my fingers hurt. <laughs> yeah. I right? Know. Think I about know. it. Yeah, she oh. had a rough year. So they didn't want to say, oh, thanks for telling me. Let me get somebody to fix that. <laughs> or, oh, my God, we're so sorry. Let us comp your meal for the night because, yeah. Jesus, that sucks. That's our fault. They were the worst. Remember when uh, we were at Thick's birthday thing? And you felt that nail. Oh, yeah. That was sticking out. There was these, uh, you know, the benches that they had made. They were probably like uh, two two by sixes or two by eight right. sandwiched together. Yeah. And they had, you know, they were they were made or whatever. But it was like right under underneath, right? Yeah. Like where you would move it or grab under if you were to move it. Or your calf could very easily, oh if my you God, were just, rip you, your when you're sitting, you, you oh generally you put your feet feet kind of behind you so there it's kind of how to describe it yeah that's how i so felt it initially ripped. so i went inside i got a fucking hammer i'm like i gotta hammer yeah. this shit down yeah. but he you found it i was like i can't yeah. believe it. the place has been open forever yeah hey Something do you have happen. time to swing by bonefish or was it bonefish is that where you were well yeah mm -hmm. bonefish what today yeah fix that stool. fix some stools up they got you know some they messed have. up stools that they need to get their own person. <laughs> I'm not doing it there. No, you get to go through the revolving door. Yeah. It's fun. Fuck that door. I don't go through that door. <laughs> that door's for suckers. For you ain't suckers. got that kind of time. <laughs> I've eaten there enough times to know not to go through that door. They want you to, though. Sometimes they it's really closed you and to. you go like, you know, fuck this, man. I'm just going to always go through. It's probably great for, like, heat and air, right? Yeah. Probably yeah. bugs, too, maybe. I don't know. Oof. Get a heat and air. I got to replace my air unit at my house. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. It's well, it's been there since the house was built, so it's been there a minute. It's a he good knows. time to fix it too, because the weather's pretty mild right now. It's not like you're going to be stuck exactly yeah. without something for a couple of days in the heat. When people freezing. Are, yeah, it's not. It's a it's good. Saturday is supposed to be like eighty-ish. Like yeah, no, it's just kind of kind of crazy warm around it's here right pretty, now. Pretty nuts. Yeah, that's normal though. Yeah. It gets cold and hot up until December. It does. That's true. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You'll yep. have 80 degrees in December here. Mm -hmm. But February, January? Oh, no. It'll be shit around here. Not my favorite. So how, because uh, the long, dark permadeath between you two just came out. Mm -hmm. And I was sifting through the comments a little bit. And and somebody was like, oh, I can't believe Neves is playing this because it's so cold. <laughs> And I didn't right. realize, I'm like, you know what? This is by far the, the normally, obviously, you don't like cold. This is like the coldest yeah. thing that you've ever, and you just got thrust into it. Yeah. Have you been feeling a particular hate for the cold? Or have you just kind of like went, okay, it's cold, I'm over it? Because I didn't watch any I of it. I can deal with things like this series will, will be limited. Like eventually, we're going to die because it's permadeath. Mm -hmm. Right. I would not want to jump into this game and go, this is going to be my next year. Put my, uh, all my time into this world that I don't want to live in. It's funny but, how you can't separate yourself because it's not really cold. Yeah, yeah it's just a, vi it's a video game. It doesn't make me happy, though, to see it. You've enjoyed it, though? Yeah, it's a fun game. I mean, I guess I'll watch. I'll watch. I'll figure it out. I won't ask questions now. It's a slow-paced game with mm -hmm. just a lot of intense moments. Does, like... So I've watched a little bit, but... I don't know what ep how many. Uh, we can't, I can't spoil. Yeah, we can't spoil right. how, well, many, how many episodes. Okay, good for you. Later. It so, might be two, but maybe it's two. Do episodes. you gain a sense of confidence, or do you? Are you just just? There are moments of confidence. So there are moments where, like, you'll kill something, you'll do something where you'll have the resources you need that might last you another two days. Okay. So you're like, yes, and I don't need. I don't feeling. need to go out for food today. Yeah. I can stay. I can repair my clothing. Party day. It's like, all right, yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking good. <laughs> yeah. And then a couple days later, it's just like, fuck, I'm running out of resources. This is going bad. It's a roller coaster. It's it is. A, it is a big time roller coaster. Sure. That's why I love it. Because yeah, you'll have those moments where like I can take a breath and think about what I have to do next. How about that same question for Green Hell? Do you gain a sense of confidence as you... Uh, <laughs> so, so far, no. No, 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 no. no. But yes, uh, in that game, I mean, yeah, that's probably any, any survival game. And in Green Hell, because I played that a while ago um, with friends at home, 
And eventually we did get to a point where our base was solid enough you felt, and we found enough food. It's yeah. like, okay, we're con- it's You've I'm got control of, now. of yeah. the biggest demons in it. Exactly. And were you playing on the hardest difficulty? No, I think it was just the normal. Right. Yeah, I yeah. wish we were. Kinda. <laughs> I get. No, I, I love I, that I, we're I on the hardest. That, I get that it's good for that reason, too. But uh, mm. yeah, no, it's it's chewing us up and spitting us out a little bit. And that comes out. When does this podcast come out? I'll come out like a week after this. So, okay, gotcha. So a week from the release date of this will be the first episode yeah. of Green Hell. Cool. So there's like, yeah, already things in the works and coming out to replace them. You know, I know everybody on the channel is missing the ranch, Sam. I get it. I get it, guys. Yeah. Come on. Shut up and, about uh, it, for Christ's and sake. And Gen Zero. I mean, yeah, we yeah, get it. We do. But we're, we're replacing them. Uh, green hell. Just when I, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I think I got the hang of it. Like I've, we've only played it a few times, but you know, I think that, and then it just goes to shit. Yeah, listen, You're our last recording it. wasn't very good. I mean, for it wasn't a good day for us. <laughs> it's no. gonna be a good video. Yeah, but, but we also jump because we've been kind of recording these in big, big gaps. Well, there's it's been it's only we been back two in, weeks. Was it two weeks? Yeah. Okay. It's like we the first recording we had was the was the uh, the ninth of September. It yeah. seems like it's been a lot. Well, but I'm practicing before you give me a heads up before we jump in. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna we sharpen up a little last bit. Time. Next yeah. time we're gonna do thirty minutes, or because you, you said you wanted thirty minutes. Well, I'm gonna like, Not practice 10 at home. For me. Well, you said ten this week. Last week you said thirty. Well, I want I want to know a couple of days ahead because I'm gonna practice at home. Okay. Well, I don't mind. I, I I'm gonna try to jump in. While we're here, while it's fresh in my head, 15, yeah. 20 I'm minutes I'm going to do that, beforehand. too. I'm doing both. All right. There you go. Glad you worked <laughs> it, that out. It is great. Yeah, you go two weeks without playing a game. And especially because we jumped in after playing it, another survival game, I think maybe The Long Dark. So, like, I didn't practice, jumped in, and it was like, I, I forgot everything. Because yeah. I was, my, and my, my brain is still wired for the control mechanism in another game. Like, oh, fuck, what do I do here? And then, yeah, when you're playing on the hardest difficulty, <laughs> it's just... Eh, it's a little yeah. bit more uh, more intense. It's fun though. I like the game. Yeah. Now you like that setting. Yeah. Jungle greenery. Well, here's my problem with it. I like more open spaces. Mm, gotcha. I like being in the woods for a little bit, but then I kind of want to like clear it out and have a place to run, stretch mm-hmm. your legs. Mm-hmm. There's none of that there that mm. we've seen. It's no. a jungle. But I do like the rainforest kind of look. So what was the multiplayer you were looking at earlier? Oh, that was um. Uh, Long Dark came out today. They were recording this podcast. And uh, a lot of the comments mention they have a multiplayer mod. So I pulled up a video on YouTube and was looking at it. I thought I was like, oh, okay, two, you and a buddy can play the Long Dark yeah. together. It's like, no, it's a full on four player multiplayer Ooh. mod. This a mod like from the game or a mod from the community? Um, it, it, probably from the community. Okay, because they got faces and everything. Mm-hmm. A lot of times in a survival game, when it's only first person, they don't even have heads usually. Yeah. Right? Sometimes, yeah. But so, yeah. so there were heads on these. Maybe characters. that's something we look into in the future. Okay, we'll so see. we'll see. Mm-hmm. Looks brutal. Oh, it is. What's more difficult, Green Hell or this? I find them equal in terms of that. I would say being by yourself would be a lot harder, but at least I get to play with you guys. Yeah. So if we do that, at least Neebs and I will be, you know, somewhat Experts. proficient at it, and then we can mm-hmm. bring you guys in and kind of Drag the same thing I'm doing now with Neebs is like I'm coaching him mm-hmm. playing this game. We we'll do the same thing with you guys. It's like, all right, we got you via walkie. Mm. No, I mean you know you can all be together. No, I mean oh, that's wait. How, that's how I'm doing it with Neebs. This, that's what I'm saying. This multiplayer mod, we could all be oh, yeah, together. I got you. I saw which that. makes it like. They would have had to double the amount of food and resources. Right. You would hope. Because if it were just four <laughs> be with didn't. the amount of resources we could have, that ain't going to work. Like if it came down to killing each other and eating each other? Oh, yeah. Oh, that would See, be that's, fun. That's, oh, wait. Eat. You guys eat, can eat humans Well, so wouldn't that be something? Oh. Yeah. You can it's eat human meat in green anymore. hell. I know that you can. <laughs> I, was, I was talking about in this. You can do it in ARC. And, and by the arc. way, totally worth the insanity. Eat that meat. <laughs> Eat that human meat. Yeah. Oh, it's not, though, because that I mean, insanity. You, you end up, like, seeing things, and they actually hurt you. Yeah, they do. Why do they hurt you? I don't know. That's that's kind of dumb. I wish they didn't. Well, hmm. here's how There's I would explain it. There's got to be some threat. Okay. If I'd you're going crazy, yeah. and you're seeing stuff, and you're fighting something that's not there, you might end up hurting yourself. You might, but are you? I mean, that's not what they're portraying. Yeah, well, it's like a Matrix thing, maybe. 
It's like it's not real, but your brain. But makes what if you it think real. you're hitting something? You're actually hitting a tree because you're just you just lost it. Mm-hmm. And now right. you've hurt yourself on this tree. You sprain your wrist. There you go. Okay. I can kind of buy it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna step away for a second. Talk. You do that. Hey, is thick coming over here? Or are we going to him? Okay, what's what's for dinner? Oh yeah, that's a good cheesesteak there. Two guys, guys grill. grill. All right, okay. man. It's been forever. I didn't even know one of those still existed. Didn't know they were still. Yeah. Man, they've got a good chicken Philly. Okay. I used to get the chicken cheesesteak salad. Yeah, I remember that mm. you introduced me to that, and Sounds I quite good. liked that as well. Yep. Huh. Huh. It was just cheesesteak, just on top of the salad. I don't think I've ever eaten there, so I'm excited. They. <laughs> a good yeah. goose doof. It's a really good cheesesteak. Okay, rock and roll. They kill it. Like, there used to be a few of them in town. This might be the only one remaining. I don't know how that one works. By, we used to go to the one by Wrightsville Beach. Yeah. But that's probably closed. Yeah, and there used to be one on on uh, college. Man, so much of this town is almost unrecognizable. Like when we first moved it's, here. It's grown I mean, so much over the like, past just decade. Going Every to, town. Yeah, I mean, going to is, Wrightsville but... Beach, like, there's like four or five story just buildings everywhere going... Yeah. You know, up to the bridge, across right. the bridge. It used to be just like clear. Yeah, flat and clear. And I mean, look at the river. Look along the river yeah, now. God, like, it's, insane. It's, it is. And now they got this whole apartment thing, like behind the Live Oak. Not behind it, but like Live all Oak these apartments that are like looking at Live Oak. Um, like if you have one of those balconies. Oh, you, man. Yeah. You got, got free shows. Good you Lord. got free shows. It's all you want. What a Live deal. Nation shows. Yeah. Holy shit. And there's like two of them. They're connect two big buildings. They're connected by a bridge. I guess there's this walkway. Oh, that's it's beautiful. Good. It's kind of neat. So yeah. yeah, downtown's really changing. Except for where I live, it's super slow. It'll get change there. there. I know. I know. Like, give it one year. <laughs> <laughs> Although you're gonna walk outside, yeah. there's gonna be these high rises around. Yeah. Like, what the fuck just happened? And that really is everywhere, though. Like every damn place is like growing so fast. Uh, for yeah, the most part. It'll, I wonder if it'll slow down now just because, you know, the money's not as uh, cheap as it used to be. Mm-hmm. Like getting that loan for that big development project, yeah. a little bit riskier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it could slow down for a little bit. 50% so before you know it. Crazy. It's crazy how they, like, they didn't raise interest rates forever. They're like, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, we'll kick this can nah. down the river. Yeah. And then eventually he's like, hey, let's do it every week. Yeah. Every week, let's raise it. That's the only way, I, well, whatever, from what I understand, it's the only way they're going to be able to correct it. The inflation. Well, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. That, that's well, the narrative. Yeah, they're trying to control inflation. Yeah, well, Are they should gonna... probably deal with corporate profits. No, 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 never. Clutching we're not pearls. going there, guys. We're not even going no, there. I'm clutching yeah, my yeah, pearls yeah, yeah. right now, Dora. Well, while What's we're I... fixing things, <laughs> do you ever buy those potato chip bags and you got to tear down the side? No. Yeah. What do you mean, no? Down this is everywhere. Side? You know, there are bags that are made that only rip that way, right? Yeah, like usually you get a potato chip bag, you and grab you the front the and the boop. back, and you boop, it opens like right. a mouth. Okay, so they got the one suggested slit. Yeah, mm. grab the slit and just tear right down the side like right. an idiot. Ooh. So all your chips just go spilling it. I, He's supposed to seal that back up. Or even reach in there comfortably. I don't, I don't buy those ghetto chips. What? They're I don't not think ghetto. it's ghetto. I don't it's even know ghetto. ghetto. I haven't seen a bag like it's that. Like no, they they, said, it's like old. this is old news. This is old chip news. <laughs> it is. I don't understand. Yeah. Certain brands do it. It's not all the brands. Is this a, There's still a lot of brands that don't do this, I mean, Neebs. But if it's a bag, and like, you can just flip it over. And now that's, now that's the, top the top of your bag. Hate it. So don't be Hate an idiot it. with uh, yeah. with gravity. Right. Yeah, it's this is not better. We've not improved anything. We've made it worse. <laughs> you I ever, don't know. It's okay. going to be my life goal to change that. Well, maybe, you know like, what? T- check this out. If you have, like, you're a big handed man, Neebs. Mm-hmm. You'd think opening a bag <laughs> that way on the side would just give you, like, you don't have to, like, jam your hand into this greasy chip bag nowadays. Well, it's not a Pringles yeah. can. Most potato bags are big enough for an adult hand. Here's the problem with the with the, the small bags. The small the bags are not like because no, because when you only bags. have a couple of chips left, you got to reach way down in there and that, you get no, crumbs and I do shit not all have over your problems. hand. Pringles, I can't do it. Here's the problem with the slit technique that that option. Um, and mostly with like if you say you're getting a little two pack of Advil or something, you know the whole slit, the suggested where you do the rip in the bag. Mm. Yeah, that suggested little slit isn't always there. Mm-mm. You know, when it, went, it doesn't work, when it went through the pack or the, you know, the whole packaging and all that stuff, sometimes, you know, some of them missed and now you got a problem. Mm, nope. Now you got a problem. Now you got to use your teeth. <laughs> now you got to use your teeth or find that scissors. Or right. Oh, yeah. Got a real big problem here. You know what else? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. Call you ever mom. Have, you ever this have this? Fucking, what? 
you know the bags you like you tear the top yeah. and then there's a ziplock underneath that okay yeah 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 and then like one of the ziplock sides comes off the bag oh man no, or something. No, you got a problem. Uh, you got a problem. You got a real That's problem. a fucking problem. <laughs> now we you, I don't think I've ever seen what to, you're talking about. You're going to have to eat some motherfucking chips because those things are going to stay out lasting. All right. When you go ahead and tell I'm me. I'm not talking about chips. I'm just talking about things that need a zip. Maybe yeah, well, even that. Mixed nuts or Sometimes something. Sometimes mm, okay. chips have that. You too. rip the thing off, and now it should just be a, a Ziploc bag, but you open it, and nope, the one side comes with it. So it's still, it's just bag there with no Ziploc catcher, and then the other side's both pieces. Damn. Oh, you yeah. got a problem. You got you to find a chip clip. I hope we don't have a real big third world country um, uh, base. Uh, no, we... <laughs> they don't no. have to deal with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is a first world problem, isn't it? it is. <laughs> Damn it, my chip bags didn't open right. Did you imagine? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Call your senator. I love watching videos of those birds going to stores and steal bags. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We'll just land and walk in. Walk out with a chip bag. They figured it out. <laughs> what do we have? <laughs> Good for them. Someone Man. got their snacks broken into when we were in Catalucci. Remember that? Mm. They left a bag of something oh, out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It was, uh, I think it was pork rinds, and I think, yeah, some crows or uh, grackles rinds. got into it or something. <laughs> Ate all our damn pork rinds. <laughs> <laughs> I learned something kind of gross about birds I didn't know. Uh, you know. A baby bird, when it poops, it doesn't poop in the nest. It leaves like It's, it's like a little bag comes out of its butt. That mom can just grab and, and then take toss away, out. huh? That's amazing. I it bet is. every bird, parent no wants idea. that, don't they? Hmm? Well, yeah, it's like every uh, human it's parent like would diaper want that. genie built in. Exactly, got a little diaper butt. Huh. It's just got amazing. some kind of membrane around it. Mm-hmm. It's like a poop. stuffed sausage, <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, but instead of delicious pork, it's it's bird. a bird spicy meatball. Oh, shit. Could you imagine if that product came out, like a from a pharma company? Or for humans. Like you tired of claiming that you feed your, your baby, baby this, and it will poop in a bag. It'll An easy poop. little thing oh that you could God. grab. Membrane-covered I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> or you get... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move on from that. My brain went everywhere. It well, probably yeah, has side effects. I didn't know that. I thought that was interesting. But Boyd's. That's, Boyd's. That's weird. Boyd's be all crazy. And I'm taking your word for it. Mm-hmm. I hope it's real. Yeah. I've seen the video. Might have been a deep fake, though. But at some point, it just turns into white liquid as they get older. I guess so, yeah. Once they, probably, probably when they, once they start flying. I mean, I get an evolutionary advantage to not shit in the nest. Oh, it's great. Know, because of all the, you know, disease. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a problem solver nature is. It, can, it certainly can be. It solves it in the most brutal way possible, but it certainly can be. It's fascinating. I wish nature would figure out how to get these potato chip bags right. They didn't make them. Potato chips on your sandwiches, a regular oh, thing for you? Like if, on the, if yes. they're around, yeah. Yeah, it depends on what the chip is, but yeah, like a good sun chip? Mmm, put me them sun chips on that damn sandwich now. I did. Last night I had a half of a of a turkey club, you know, with bacon on it and stuff that I reheated and have a little late night snack, and I threw some garlic butter Ritz on it. Mm. Garlic butter Ritz are delicious. Okay, I can see that. Well, can... Oh, my God. All these yeah. flavors. Nah, a chip adds a good crunch to a sandwich. Mm-hmm. It's unnecessary, but it adds yeah, a good sure. crunch. So if you're just having something that has a chips for the side, what flavor? Where are we at? I don't know. Just S- like a sour cream and onion. And I prefer them to be ridges. I mean, usually chips okay. just kind of bother me. It's a lazy side, you mm-hmm. know? Well, ranch like sim was lazy. Like, but they're free. They're free well, we'll if you're going to have a chip. <laughs> <laughs> ranch sim was super lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry all about the that, everyone. Yeah. I, I mean, love do jalapeno go, chips. Man, do the kettle cooked ones. Mm. You're a kettle guy. I'm not yeah. a kettle guy, but I'll do it. Vicky's kettle uh, yeah. jalapenos. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're yeah. good. Those they're pretty good. good. That would kill my girlfriend. She can't handle a normal Bojangles can't chicken sandwich. It's really? way too spicy for her. Like, yeah. she'll be in hell. Mm. So zero tolerance for... Heat yeah. for heat at all. Oh, that's fun to know. If I ever wanted to make her cry, it's, her no, up, it's be, be nice Just have her taste easy. something. Here, you got to try one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Here's some mm. Texas Pete. I didn't know. I got I a little bit of that uh, not too long ago. Anthony came over to my house, and he brought these nice little uh, peppers with cheese in them. They were jalapeno peppers, and yeah. he did not tell me. And I you mean, enjoyed them? Uh, I did uh, for about one second <laughs> until I realized, oh, shit. This were they is a very hot pepper. Or cooked? Uh, we, we grilled them. They couldn't have been that hot. A grill well, that's 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 me. It. I do. I do not do spice. Okay. Your tolerance is not. My tolerance good. is low. Hmm? So gotcha. yeah, it hit my damn. <laughs> I, I felt it in my stomach for the next hour. Yeah. 
Just like, ugh, it's there. Mm. Like Texas soaking. Pete, I could just drink, just drink it. That in Tabasco is just like it's just like vinegar to me compared to hot. Oh know? yeah, I don't even I don't Ugh. do any of the hot stuff, but I like to do like Texas Pete or something like that on on some eggs on and some, some eggs, cheese. baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 oh yeah, oh, oh, oh. Tabasco them eggs. Oh. Never done that once. I, I haven't have either. Yeah. That's that, good, huh? It was oh, it's I um, like I learned it in the Corps, like scrambled in eggs, the Marine Corps, Tabasco? yeah, because well, you, you just you get the little in your MREs, you'd get the little hot sauce bottle. And you, you relied on it to add flavor to your MREs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> your little meal's ready to eat. But they had Tabasco around the, on the chow hall, and a lot of just, you'd see people like <laughs> Tabasco on everything. And, and yeah, I, got, I gained that then. There you go. There I do go. love it on eggs, for sure. Definitely mm-hmm. works. You have to try that. Well, no, you don't have to try it. I might. I mean, I, I, I can handle a little heat now. Yeah. I'm getting better. Did any of y'all try that Texas Pete that Daniel brought all the way from Texas? I didn't. <laughs> Kicking myself for not trying that. <laughs> we don't ever let that go, do we? No, 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 you don't. No, no. <laughs> no, no. We don't need to rehash that. Okay. I'm going to share my culture with you. <laughs> yeah. This is our hot sauce. <laughs> from brought, Texas. Brought you guys something from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Pete. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> it's like, been a while, miss him. Yeah. He's been playing. Uh, he's been playing seven days uh, with me at the house. Okay, yeah, he pops nice. in there. Get to see how he's doing. For sure. How mm-hmm. is he? Is he's he doing good? good. Yeah. Meaning, like in seven days. I don't give a shit about personally. He's he's actually a fun builder in seven days. Uh, I'll yeah. bet. Yeah. I can see him. He just he loves to just get in there. It's like you know, um, we live in a trailer park at uh, the server we're playing on, and his his trailer. He's just molding it into this weird curved thing. Cool. But yeah, nice. That's yeah, fun. fun. Tell him I said hi. Mm-hmm. I will. Mm-hmm. I think the audience is ready for you to build something again, Simon. Build like, something. like your glass house. You put a lot of love into that one, mm-hmm. right? But it, you, well, that I didn't really build. I just replaced blocks. Mm. I would like to do something. I mean, so that doesn't take much creativity. You made this ramp, but we've done that before, you know. Yeah. No. Uh, well, how far away are we? Like. Because I'm doing the next horde base, but I'm not really. But that, <laughs> right. We're probably but, a couple weeks out. So that knowledge that I'm gaining is making me go like, all right, I'm looking forward to now making mm. a horde base. Okay. It's absolutely in the same vein, but it makes me go, okay, yeah, I could, I, I could do this. So okay. we'll see. There you go. We don't have much room for error uh, in, in the Darkness Falls sense. <laughs> anymore oh good god that oh last horde god. i think we've learned I don't that think that's that's i think that comes out this week yeah. right there's no bouncing around yeah. and creating new bases at places yeah. anymore yeah we don't know if the horde knights come out yet but it's, i think it's it's just it is this week i think yeah. it, so it came pa- out it yeah. will have just happened yeah yeah last so the week. next so your next if you guys listen to it right now on this day you have the next one you'll see our a nice little surprise mm-hmm. it'll be after the horde night Man. For, with you but yeah, yeah like god the way we used to play it was yeah it was like okay we're done with that horde base let's build a completely uh, new one in a yeah. different scenario and now yeah. we're like no let's just add on to this <laughs> we, one because my can't. god we don't have time we don't <laughs> we don't have time this is just too intense oh, we gotta just do this because we used to like oh we'll throw a horde base up yeah, in like yeah. three days or whatever yeah. now it's like no we need all the time dedicated to making this thing fucking work <laughs> a little different and you Ooh. guys if you have any coil ammo you're going to hang on to it mm-hmm. so don't How much it. better is that coil ammo? It's pretty talking sweet. about. Yeah, but you I've don't want to use that on regular sweet. zombies. You can't Not be wasting the week. Yeah, I shouldn't save be doing it. that. Yep, it's only for coil. what then? For what? You got to save that for works demons. Against demons. Some right. of those demons we've been seeing. Don't waste coil on just a regular zombie. Yeah, he was just trying it out. Try it out. I'm to see how good they were on a regular zombie. All right. There you go. All right. Well, that was that was tasty. That was tasty. Wasn't that, did that taste good for you, Neves? Man, I'm starving right oh, now. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are. Wait till we go to dinner. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, good. So then we're going to go get some food. And thank you for listening. Yeah, yeah thanks, everyone. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>